What's up, everybody? This is the Asian Video Gamer with another play session of Dark Souls PV PvP. Uh, today, I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna explain what this build is. Uh, it's an axe and hammer build. It's not very special. I'm just playing around with my PvP and uh, got tired of spamming my spells, so decided to go back to the basics and just you know melee combat um, I'm gonna take this time to uh, talk about some of the stuff I'm working on for, in terms of my YouTube channel and possibly more channels um, yeah so I recently came up with an idea that might be suitable for what I'm doing like in terms of builds and even though like my views are not that high as of now I hope in the future it'll get more notice as I'm s learning more skills in uh, Sony Vegas and learning more video effects that I can put in <coughs> I'm actually having a lot of fun actually like more fun than actually playing the Dark Souls game and I'm having a lot of fun just doing the video edits and talking to myself I think it's like a progress in terms of like you know starting up a YouTube channel and just learning the ropes a lot of you know veterans you youtubers are telling you you know it's not about the money it's not about like the glory the fame whatever you're just doing it because it's a hobby and most of it I would say is correct but if you're not making it for the money then you have no incentive to improve I have very huge incentive to improve because I do want it for the money even though I have a full-time job and then full-time uh, a fiance that has a full-time job and we're pretty financially well off but you know like I want to be graded in terms of money on how I, my videos are like the quality of my videos and a lot of them like they aren't that good like when when I start making them it feels like they're pretty good but after a while like when I just look at it it's not really anything special and I guess I understand why it gets so low views but you know, it, it's still disheartening at some point, but nonetheless, it's still my hobby to make it better. So, I'm gonna try and put in more entertainment value on this type of thing. And hence, I'm gonna announce like doing a new channel. I haven't thought of the name yet, I will soon. I will also try to get somebody to design some sort of some sort of logo for me. Um, my fiance is a logo designer, so sh she'll probably be able to help me with that. Hopefully, <laughs> she she's uh, kind of fifty fifty on this YouTube thing, and it's fine. Like I understand. Like this is not my livelihood. This is just like a hobby. If I can make if I can make some sort of income from it, that's cool. If not, nah, it means I failed. But you know what? I fail a million times before I succeed. Like, I have failed so hard in school. I have failed so hard in, you know, trying to find a job. And I had to start from the bottom. You know, like, I was at one point a garbage collector for a theme park. That's pretty low. And not just the garbage collector. Like, I actually cleaned the drains of where you dispose the garbage that's like dirty jobs times a million times dirtier drains man the drains and not to mention I was kind of like an animal control type position as well you know like they call it the special crew but in reality you just do whatever shit people don't want to do and part of it was this uh, is trying to get rid of skunks in the park. Yeah, skunks. They literally would put traps that doesn't kill the skunk, 
but just trap them inside a box with hoes and uh, they ask us to pick them up and release them outside the park and holy crap I got sprayed in the fucking face that one time when I went there the guy told me it was a groundhog I'm like what the fuck that's not groundhog that's fucking skunk as soon as I got out of the trunk uh, the truck it sprayed me right in the head like literally I was like at least 20 feet away from it it sprayed me in the head it burns your eyes let me just tell you that also the liquid is green and it stunk like hell nothing works tomato juice doesn't work the only thing that can kind of cover the stench is vanilla extract so next time you get sprayed by skunks yeah you put vanilla extract on yourself and anything you touch from then on will be contaminated like it will smell as well like just if you get sprayed by skunk just stay inside your room and don't go anywhere don't touch your tr don't cut don't touch your car don't touch your mom don't touch anybody because you'll contaminate them it's just nasty um yeah enough about that rant well yeah like i said i worked from the bottom up you know i worked hard and i failed in school in certain courses like i failed one or twice but you know i kept at it the, luckily the university didn't kick me out and i had enough money to you know for my garbage collecting job to uh pay for the extra year that i have to stay behind and Afterwards, I got a pretty decent job as a software developer. Uh, it wasn't anything great. It sort of undercut it me pretty hard, but you know, I worked at it for a few years. Um, the, the boss trusted me. You know, I was responsive and reliable. That's the key thing. You have to be reliable. If you're not reliable, it doesn't matter how whiz you are, how nice you are, how cool and hip you are with the technology you're you're still shit if you're not reliable and you can't respond within time frames so yeah I was reliable he trusted me and you know I started my career in t towards a software development a Java software development and here I am today you know being able to afford my own shit like my own computer my own uh, mic my own I don't know software the software is pretty expensive by the way but yeah it's actually very very good you know I don't know how many people will actually get to listen to this video but you know if you work hard you will get money it's not a lot but it's enough to be in the middle class um, if you want big money you're gonna have to kick gambles you're gonna have to invest in stocks invest in people things that you know like companies that may go down the drain or may skyrocket up in, into the I don't know whatever space but you know what does this all have to my, do my new channel well it's just you know just the same thing here in YouTube like I'm gonna start from the bottom you know like with like 16 subscribers and right now and hopefully work my way up and hopefully that's the attitude to have on this channel uh, I don't mind whoring out I don't mind doing anything as long as you know there's progress and success but I'm not gonna try that card yet not yet anyways so I'm just gonna improve my video skills and you know hopefully branch out into other type of games and later on branch out into other videos so anyways I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, catch you guys next time toodles